Explorer Windows gives you an overview of the maps, layers, tables, windows, and connections. It includes the layer controls, table list, and other tool windows that can be used individually if that's your preference. All tool windows can be opened via the Tools Windows Gallery on the Home tab. You can use the Filter option at the top of the Explorer window to search for specific elements by name. This is very useful, especially if you have many tables, windows, maps, and layers. The label icon next to the map names lets you control whether labels in the map are selectable or not. This prevents you from accidentally selecting and moving labels while selecting and working with spatial objects in the map. Most of the elements in the Explorer window have their own context menu. Let's look at some of those. The context menu of the map element lets you rename the map, which helps you to identify what each map shows. You could use terms like England Overview Map or London Detail Map to highlight the content of each map. The Map Context menu also lets you zoom to the extent of the entire map, and you can access the Label Priority option. This lets you control the draw order of the labels if you want the order to be different from the order of the layers. The Layer Context menu lets you rename a layer, giving it a friendlier name. This is saved to the workspace. You can also zoom the extent of the layer and browse the data table behind the layer. These are just a few of the elements of the Layer Context menu. In the Table list, you can sort the list of tables either alphabetically or by time, where the most recently opened table is shown at the top. You can also group the tables by type, which gives you a good overview of the different table types. Certain table types have a Refresh and Table Info icon next to them. They appear when you move the mouse over the table. This lets you refresh, for example, Web Feature Service Tables and Database Tables. You can also easily get to the configuration of tables, such as Web Feature Service and Web Map Service Tables. The context menu for tables gives you access to browsing and modifying the table structure of the data tables. You can also easily access Update Column and Create Points for tables via the context menu. And if you have grouped the tables by type, you can easily select the unnecessary query tables and close these via a right click. The window list, which is all new to 64-bit releases of MapInfo Pro, gives you an overview of your currently open windows. The checkboxes next to the windows let you hide the windows that you aren't currently working with. If you check it again, the window reappears. The context menu gives you access to renaming the window, similar to the context menu of the map elements of the layer control. You can also clone any window to create a copy of a window, be that a map or a layout. Finally, you have a list of open database connections, where the context menu lets you open database tables from the connection or close the connection.